I'm thrilled to see you survive season yes. one. Oh, I'm very, you. very oh, happy. Really and you I'm and my mom. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can you just tell us a little bit about how you, you come into the story this season, both of you? At what point you... We meet uh, the next episode, I think. Um, with the, no, that's not a spoiler. Um, <laughs> no, no. They're showing it in like half an hour. Constantly walking on eggshells. Yes. Um, you know, Bennett starts off rather naively believing that he can um, solve this issue of um, uh, the corruption in the in, in the in the Catholic Church internally. You know, he takes the problem home and thinks that you know they'll see his side. And um, but yeah things don't pan out like that so he goes on the run seeks some help and meets this rather nefarious character mouse um, who has her own ways of doing things that um, he doesn't necessarily agree with I think that's a lot of where the tension comes from in their relationship just uh, their different kind of ideology their different um, ethics even you know as to they want the same thing but they kind of want to go through a different what you know different angles um, so yeah yeah I, I, I think mouse is like Hitman. So <laughs> people call her when when things get more challenging, yeah. and she might she because she can she can do things differently. So a supernatural hitman or a like an, an exorcist, an, an exorcist. exorcist, just uh, yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That's really exciting. Yeah. Fun character to play. Strong. You don't see many exorcists for hire. Yeah. Right? Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How important is it for you to play this character, especially for you, because there's so much talk about diversity, and you are a priest. Yeah, it's great. And it's great to play a character where it's not an issue, whether it be positive or negative, that he's black. Do you know what I mean? It's just a guy. Like, that's what we want. That's like, you know, just want the same. <laughs> Don't want more, you know? <laughs> just want the same. Just want to be a character and, you know, tell a story. Um, about this individual um, so it, like uh, I love the fact that um, Sean and Jeremy um, you know as the season have gone on have given me so much license to kind of feed into where I want to take this and you know um, um, where we want to go with the character um, yeah in your character how important is it that you play this um, you know as far as diversity is concerned I try not to think about it because I'm very much the belief we're, we're all human and you know the more the more we focus on how different we are I think that separates us you know creates division which is you know what we're really suffering through right now are there any um, moments in the uh, coming up in the season that you guys are really looking forward to fans getting to experience all of it <laughs> <laughs> seriously we've got a ton to get through you know um, starting with next week, but you know, um, yeah, I, I feel like every episode has some, you know, because you've got these three very disparate stories, you know, with um, Andy and the kids, us, us in uh, the Vatican and in Europe, um, um, and then Marcus and Thomas on the run, on the road, doing their kind of road trip, you know. Um, <laughs> so there's all these disparate stories, and it's so, they, they contrast each other so much. It weave in um, so well. Right? Yeah. And there's this sort of puzzle quality to it as to how is this all going to fit? How are all three stories going to, you know, match and, you know, meet into one, you know? And uh, I think the guys have done it, the writers have done a brilliant job of that, so... Uh, were were you really big into horror before you got into this show? No, or was this sort of I scared thing so easily. <laughs> like seriously, you know, yeah. it's embarrassing. Um, I scare really easily, Is but that you why know, they paired us up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but a good film's a good film. You know what I mean? Like yes. bottom line, like you know, I, I was saying the, the other guys. I love Misery, Vertigo, Terminator One. You know, the Aliens <laughs> films. I watch it. You know, I watch it if it's like a quality mm -hmm. film. You know let the right one in like you know uh, so for me it's sort of irrelevant what genre but yeah I won't kind of go out of my way to like watch people's skin be flailed like you know like you know like you know but yeah so after a busy day filming on set when you get home how do you how do you sleep at night do you have any nightmares or do you just do you have to does it take a while to just separate it all from well I, I I worked it so a friend of mine could be on the show and we're roommates so that way I don't feel stuck alone at night <laughs> That's a really good question. Because um, I've done jobs before where like that stays with you, you know, like the process or you know, the character, and you know, it's hard to actually shake that off. Um, yeah, it's a kind of occupational hazard, I guess. Like you know, 
Um, you've just got to have a really balanced mind, you know. Um, I think, you know, most, most actors are. Um, um, you know, like, there's just so much kind of uh, exploration of the psyche, of behavior, of how we work with each other. Like, that in itself is very therapeutic. So you can kind of do the nasty stuff and get stuck in and then, but you, you, you know what I mean? You've excavated so much that you can kind of step outside, you know, like, um, but yeah, it's, it's an issue sometimes for sure. What is your character's relationship with the church this season? Like, how is that going to go? Like, are you an ex-priest at this point, or no, oh, you're still... Uh, yeah, good question. Yeah. I don't know how like, they are dealing with me, like, what, yeah. what, uh, whether I'm on their books or not, but for sure, like, after, you know, um, Friday's episode, you know, he thought he could bring the problem to them and they could solve it internally. He thought, you know, because, you know, the Vatican is not just his faith, it's his home, you know, as we'll find out as well later this season. It's, they, it was a... It was a change in course for him, you know, um, meeting the church. And so to kind of like, you know, leave your home, you know, um, it's, it's in a sense, he's a kind of orphan, really, which sort of ties into the story with the children. Um, you know, that's really difficult. Um, and yeah, how abrasive that's going to become, we'll, we'll see. I don't want to kind of get too much. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of abrasive, right from the pilot, we saw that he had a, uh, a kind of a tense relationship with Father yeah, Marcus. Yeah, for sure. Is there sure. going to be a point where they intersect again and maybe that tension will resurface? We'll see. I mean, the thing is, you know, he does, he, he is, he, he does get quite easily rubbed in on the wrong side by these priests that kind of, you know, have their own rule book, you know, and do things on their own, you know, their own way mouse um <laughs> you know um because he, 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 he right well because he's, he's kind of a straight shooter and you know uh, um um and so i think that's where a lot of the tension comes in when he meets people that do things in a kind of unorthodox way you know um and so it's a challenge to his own kind of you know the way he's been brought up and what he and his relationship with the church and with the book and with faith you know um so that's like an interesting journey with, with the characters being spread across the globe, basically, uh, how much interaction does the cast have on the whole? Is it, are you guys kind of more segmented? Do you get a chance to interact with the rest of everybody? We're definitely more segmented. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've seen the others, yeah. others the entire season so far. Yeah. It's just you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty yeah, all over the place. Um, um, Makes sense. <laughs> Do you see a common thread though that kind of ties the stories? So besides just demonic possession, obviously, that ties the stories together. Since you are dealing with like a small family on a yeah. remote island, yeah. and then the Vatican. Yeah, there, 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 there are definitely themes. There are themes of isolation and running away from something, running away from a problem. You know, um, yeah, like yeah. Spoiler alert! Um, but, uh, but there, there, yeah, there are definitely big themes like that. I think, like once you kind of see the whole thing as a whole, I think that's what's so great about it. It will feel like one long movie, which is, you know, um, what, what I hope. Um, you know, you know, there's this is habit of kind of setting things up for seasons upon seasons. Where I think I think we're very much concentrating on making sure that there's a story in itself from one to ten this season. You know. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys.